toilet paper, a massive use of the planet's resources, and literally we're just chucking our money down the drain. It's not even a very pleasant solution. So in this video, I'm going to talk about an alternative to disposable toilet paper and show you a reusable toilet paper solution. So I did some research and realised it's actually not a big deal to switch to a reusable toilet paper instead of this disposable stuff that we're all using and putting down the toilet X number of times a day. I started literally by cutting up an old towel, this kind of shape, so that I could just fold it over and use that as a reusable toilet wipe. If you're feeling a bit grossed out at this point, I'm going to say that I am just using my new toweling squares for we. I'm not using it for a number two. So when I first started researching this, there, there actually wasn't a lot um, of information uh, and certainly not a lot of things available like ready to buy that I could use, which is why I ended up cutting up an old towel. One thing that I saw these things were referred to as family cloths. Sounds like a, a bit of cloth that the entire family um, wipe themselves with. It's just so horrible. I'm simply going to call my cloth squares reusable toilet paper or zero waste toilet paper. So when I first started doing this, I, I did it as a trial to begin with just to see if I would like it because I wasn't sure, but I would mention it to friends and family and generally the reaction was, or are you mad? But uh, the more you think about it, the more you think, the more you realise actually disposable toilet paper is a little bit strange. We almost just take it for granted that that's what you do. You have this, you know, flim. I mean, what's that all about? You have to double it all up and triple it all, you know, make a great big wadge of it um, and wipe yourself with it. It's it's rough, it's bleached, it's full of chemicals. Uh, we, we spend money on it. It doesn't even wipe us very well. And then we put it down the toilet and we flush it away. I hope you are going to like this alternative and I really do think this is the way forward and in a year or two people won't even be making videos like this anymore because it will be so so common. It's like a lot of um, the young parents now are, they've gone back to the, the toweling, terry toweling nappies that I would have been in in, in the early 70s. So I think that's brilliant and that the toilet paper will be the next thing, I feel sure of it. So I will tell you about the ones I have found online because there are actually some, some good ones that, you, that can be used for this. Uh, and I'm also going to show you how I made them myself just in case you fancy doing that. So I got a whole bunch, uh, just off Etsy actually, of these squares of toweling. I would say these are about eight or nine centimeters. And then simply put two pieces together to form a double thickness square and hem all the way round. What you end up with is, ta -da! <laughs> Here's one I sewed earlier. So going back just briefly to disposable toilet paper, this is just a cheap toilet paper, um, but even the, even the ones that you pay a lot of money for, the manufacturers are saying it's thick and it's soft and it's luxurious and it's the best that money can buy. Well, even so, is anything going to be as thick and, and luxurious? That's gorgeous. There's 
it's not toilet paper that can rival this against your skin and for absorbency. Just saying. <laughs> Why would you choose to use this scratchy, flimsy, bleached, chemical ridden bits of paper? If you don't want all the fuss of cutting up toweling or hemming edges, etc., um, there is a company making uh, baby wipes, so reusable baby wipes out of toweling, bamboo, microfiber. They're actually a really good way to just purchase something online. They do come up at 15 square centimeters, so 15 by 15, which is probably going to be too big for a bit of toilet paper. But what you can just easily do is fold them in half, or even fold them into quarters, and you've still got a really decent size there, and you've doubled up or, or quadrupled the absorbency, the thickness. With those kind of kits, because they're made for um, cleaning babies bottoms they quite often come with essential oils for the smell uh, wet bags and um, sealable boxes and all this that and the other um, so it's more for a, a reusable nappy type kit when you're using these as toilet paper for wee wee's you don't need to worry about all that that's a total overkill uh, I don't know why people, um, maybe even I thought it, you're going to end up with some kind of sodden, nasty squares of fabric hanging around your bathroom. And it's really not like that when you think when you wipe yourself after a wee, it's such a tiny amount. Um, we literally just have a little bin by the side of the toilet and whenever one of our um, cloths has been used, we pop it in the bin. We line the bin with a, one of those laundry bags, like mesh or net laundry bags. So as they all get thrown in, when it's getting full up, you can literally just zip up the bag and pop that whole thing in the wash. So don't overcomplicate this. All you need, some kind of square bit of a cloth or toweling, and then um, a bin or bag to pop it in afterwards. That's that's all you need. This, you know, even just give it a try, see what you think. Um, it's really not a big deal, and it's really not a big investment. You're going to love um, not using so much toilet paper. You're going to love how this feels. There's, there's just nothing not to like. And I have zero plans to go back to how things used to be. I do have my eye on a little um, sort of five litre bin that I want to put down by the toilet. Let me see if I can show you that. Boing! <laughs> I'll put uh, all these things that I'm, that I'm going to mention, I will put links below in case you fancy any of that. Every few days or whenever um, we're doing a machine load of washing, we pop them in with that machine load of washing. So the other thing that people worry about is whether this is hygienic. Um, again, I think people get in a bit of a fluster about things like this. It's urine. It's not poo. If you were doing this with poo, it would be a whole different video. This is urine. Urine hasn't even got that much bacteria in it. In fact, I think most of the bacteria in urine actually gets there because of it touching your body when it leaves you. I wouldn't mind betting there's more bacteria on your face flannel or your dishcloth than there is on your, in your urine. So we just literally, as I mentioned, pop all the used cloths in a laundry bag in with our normal wash. It's no different to washing your socks or your undies. If you're really worried about germs, just give them a boil wash every month or so. You know, just, but it's not really necessary. Another, another option if you're really um, worried about things like that is to go for 
bamboo, like a bamboo cotton mix. Make uh, buy the wipes or buy your squares uh, from a bamboo source. Bamboo is naturally uh, doesn't harbour bacteria. It's also eco-friendly because it grows so fast. It puts loads of oxygen back into the environment. So it's it's good stuff. These are toweling ones. I'm holding these up because this is all I've got. But there are bamboo uh, alternatives. Microfiber is going to be another option, and that is going to be incredibly soft. I don't know if the absorbency would suffer a bit, but I haven't tried microfiber. With the, the last two, the bamboo and the microfiber, I don't think they can be washed above 30 or 40 degrees. That's the only drawback with those if you're planning to, to do a hot wash. With the toweling ones though, you can wash them. You can boil wash them, you can wash them at 60 degrees, whatever you fancy. So other than money saving and planet saving, Something did occur to me after we started doing this. That is that you can also save on water. So all that flushing you do um, after you've had a wee, and we all know that saying, uh, if it's brown, flush it down. If it's yellow, let it mellow. But that's not easy to do when every time you do a wee, you're putting a load of tissue paper, toilet paper down the toilet. There's only so many times you can do that before you're going to have to flush anyway because there's a load of toilet paper down the loo. So with your reusable uh, toilet paper, you're not putting a load of toilet paper down the toilet every time you do a wee, and so you can let it mellow. There was one more thing that really I wasn't expecting and it really surprised me about this this whole uh, reusable toilet paper thing and that was how much better my lady parts feel and at first i i thought oh, i must be imagining it but when you think about toilet paper and how this is made and how this is bleached white and probably all sorts of other chemicals in it. That's pretty grim when you think about it. I hate, I hate to think what's in this stuff. And you're rubbing that, you're putting that against your most sensitive areas every single time you do a wee. Okay, so I mentioned um, a number of uh, cloth squares and, and reusable wipes that you can buy online um, and just use them, you know, as they come, just fold them in half or maybe even in quarters because they're quite big. I will put all the links to all of those below. But now in this part of the video, I'm gonna quickly just show you how to make your own if you really want to get them a perfect thickness or a perfect size and get them just how you want them. Uh, then this is how I did it. Another option, if you don't have any old towels to use or they really are old and grubby and you don't want to use them and you're thinking, well, what can I use? I'm happy to make these at home, is get some um, basic flannels. And usually a flannel is about 30 centimeters square. So from, that, from something like that, you're gonna get two toilet cloths. You could literally just cut the flannel in half and then just fold that in half so you're using a quarter. Uh, I did find some really affordable, it was a pack of 24 for 12.99. Yep, no, that's right. 24 washcloths for £12.99. So that's gonna make you 48 
toilet paper square, toilet squares, 48, 12.99. That's, yeah, that's probably what I would do if I was doing this again. So that's it. That's everything I wanted to tell you about reusable toilet paper. I'm really happy that I've started doing this. I have no plans to go back. If you've watched this and you're even slightly inclined to try this, you're thinking maybe this is a good idea, I'm, I'm sure you won't regret it. Uh, I'm sure your lady parts won't regret it. <laughs> Uh, just cut something up and give it a go. What have you got to lose? I hope I've inspired somebody who's watching this to give this a go. I would really love to hear from you in the comments if you are going to give this a go or if you're already doing this or if there's anything um, you've still got questions about or anything you think I forgot to mention. Um, let me know. I, I would love to talk more about this. I hope you give it a go. Uh, see you all soon.